Okay, so I, uh, I actually decided to let get the speed figured out before I went to the strobe. So I think I got I think I got it. Um, I was trying to follow the alignment procedures in the in the service manual. I'll be honest, I don't completely understand them. I, I think I I think I adjusted according to what I was supposed to see and adjust. All I know is right now I can 45. It goes to 44.52, which is a little slow. I'm going to see if I can do any additional adjustment on that. Um, but the start and stop buttons work now, and I can go from 33 to 45, and 33 is really close, right? So 33.38. So I don't listen to 45s. Um, again, I'll try to adjust this a little bit more, but it seems like whenever I would make an adjustment, I mean, it it would go from this to 100 miles an hour. So um, it's just very, very touchy. So let me just hit stop and have that stop. All right. So uh, I'm I'm good with the speed for now. Um, if I can make some more sense out of these adjustment procedures, I'll come back to them. But for right now, I'm good with the way this looks. Now the strobes, man, that's still it's still bugging me, and it's still not making sense to me. So I'm going to check a couple of uh, voltages here and there, but the issue is they're, they're none posted, so I don't know what the voltage is supposed to be, which is really frustrating because I just don't know. I mean, there's nothing to really go off of, um, and I don't understand why they just flash and go out. These were the two adjustment pots for the waveform. What you do is you take an oscilloscope and you go across negative to pin 41, positive or the clip, right? So this is kind of what it looked like, to show you. So it was negative to 41, and then it was positive to 39, like so. Turn it on, turn your oscilloscope on, and then you turn these pots, which is a pain in the butt. Um, I mean, you can turn them from up top, it's fine, but... Um, yeah, so again, I, I think I followed the procedures I, I don't know. They're not very descriptive. That's all I can say. It doesn't say whether you're supposed to be um, have it uh, right side up, upside down, with the platter on it, with the speed selected. It doesn't. It doesn't say. So I don't know. So I don't know. So anyway, back to troubleshooting the strobes. All right. So I think I figured out the waveform and how to adjust it and all that stuff. Two issues still. Forty-five will take off like a bat out of hell and I can't get it it's like I can either get 45 or 33 to adjust so right now I've got it dialed in at 33 so if I hit 33 and the arm does work it totally works so if I 33 it'll get up to speed and locks on 33.3 and it'll stay there at least for you know a couple of minutes strobe is the lights are on but it's not st strobing <laughs> so I've got to figure that out still um, but 33 seems to be alright for now so let me show you what happens when I do 45 Take this stuff off because it'll start going crazy. It'll start off slow and then it'll eventually speed up. And I can see what's going on on the scope. I just don't know. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research to figure out why it's why it's doing this. All right, and there it speeds up. All right, and then it it doesn't really respond to stop. I have to manually stop it. So I'm gonna move the camera and show you what's going on on the scope. And um, yeah. So there's the waveform we're supposed to be getting, right? We're supposed to be getting a waveform that looks like this. We adjust VR2 to get this waveform for 45 RPM, and then we adjust VR1 to get the waveform for 33. So, and we do that by connecting our probes underneath, at, at least as far as I could tell. We connect our probes underneath then we power the turntable on 
and then we watch the scope and we adjust the variable resistor. So I'm going to move the camera to where we can see the scope. And there it is. And we'll see what it looks like on 45 and 33. Now the thing is this, I don't, I don't know if the square wave is supposed to be kind of moving across the scope or not. Again, there's, there's really, there are no videos to go through. Um, no information in the service manual, so I just powered it on. Now, I don't know if that is supposed to be there. See that that blip there? I don't know if that's supposed to be present or not. But if I hit 33, you'll see where I have an, uh, a square wave, right, that looks fairly similar to that, right? And it's pretty steady. It seems to be steady. Now, it, it, it's rolling. So again, I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to see this, but that looks to be pretty close. I can hit stop. Again, um, I'm gonna do the tone arm. You guys wanna see, just to show you that it's working. So I can move the tone arm over to the end of the record and it stops, right? So the tone arm, totally working. Now with 45, If I hit 45, you'll see that I don't have, see how I have kind of the, and I need to turn it off here because it's going to start spinning out of control. I don't know if you could really see where, where we had the same. So with 33, right, with 45, there's like an extra little blip in there. So, and I've tried adjusting VR1. Now, maybe the potentiometer is bad. I need to check that. Um, but the thing is, it's like if I if I get, I, I can never get 45 dialed in to look like this. I can only get it to, to do what it was doing, where eventually it just kind of loses its mind. So I'm going to keep looking at this and what the strobe is doing. Let's see if we can see the strobe here. And get down in there. See how the strobe is just a solid. There's no pulsing, so the strobe isn't pulsing yet. But I mean, in the in the span of you know, it's a Sunday, so I'm working on my projects. In the span of probably three hours, maybe four hours total, I took it from not being playable to where now it appears as though I can at least play a record on 33. I'm going to keep sorting things out on this. But I think at this point, I'm probably going to wrap up this first video. And then um, this will be like a weekly. I'll just pull it out, kind of work on the project and see if I can get it get it working. I may just let it run, too, for about 20 minutes and see what happens. But um, so far, I, I think this looks okay. This looks steady. Um, but I won't know for sure until I do some long-term testing. And I dare not touch any of the the pots again because I don't want it to start, you know, freaking out on, on 33. So anyway, this will be the end of part one for this den and turntable. If you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, I didn't have the trigger set right on my oscilloscope, so that is a good, well, it's a better square wave for 33. Now here's the issue, and I still have to figure this out. So I can stop. Right, and then that's normal. But if I go to 45, see how that, see how the, that little spike, the pulse keeps moving across the square wave? I cannot get it to stop in the position that it should be in because 45 should look just like this. And no matter what, no position um, on that variable resistor will actually get it to look like this. Um, I don't know how stable this is. I haven't let it run yet. I'm going to let it run for maybe 15 or 20 minutes just to make sure it doesn't take off because it has done that. But it looks to me like right now 33 seems to be stable. I still don't have a strobe. So I'm not sure what's going on with the strobe flash circuit. I know at least from what I can tell when I look at the um, service manual, I think maybe the IC, there's an IC that controls that. Um, so right now it's just a it's just a red light down there. There's no strobe at all. Um, so anyway, I'm not sure about the 
the jagged the jagged edges on that square wave. I'm not sure if those are normal or not. I'm I'm not a square wave <laughs> expert, but um, it seems like and there could be an issue with variable resistor two, which is the 45 variable resistor. It could be bad. Um, I'll pull it tomorrow. I'm done working on this today. Um, but I think I'm getting close to having a usable Denon DP60M turntable. Like I said, the auto lift works at the end. Um, don't know if there's sound or anything. I haven't got it to a point where I trust putting a record on it. I don't want it to take off at 100 RPM and trash a stylus or a record. So, anyway, I know my last segment, I said that was going to be the last segment, so... Um... Yeah, we'll say this is the last segment for now, and then we'll come back with a part two, see if I can get the strobe working.